Hello, this is Reverb Audio, and this is a short video about. Uh, I'm giving you a strategy on how to choose your moving coil cartridges. So basically, in my system, I have two tone arms for my turntable setup, and I have here I have the mono cartridge there. That's an Audio Technica AT33 mono. It's the anniversary audition. And here I have the Benz MC3. And I also have a third cartridge and that can go, I have it on a second head shell and I can exchange it with the mono cartridge and that's also another stereo cartridge. And that's the Audio Technica ATF7. And how did I choose these cartridges? So basically my strategy for choosing them was uh, that they have the same or roughly a similar impedance, output impedance, and uh, basically they have the same uh, load requirement. And all, all three of these cartridges have a 0 0.35 millivolt output. So all of them give the same signal level from the same record, basically. And that means that they will be, uh, they can share the same step up transformer. So basically, if I find a step up transformer that works with one of them, it will work with all three of them. And of course, when you know more about cartridges, then you know that basically uh, you need to match the impedance of a moving coil cartridge with your step up transformer. But the way the physics of the coils work out, that if they have the same output voltage, then their impedance will be uh, compatible, will be almost exactly the same or in the very same ballpark. And as things are, I'm using a 28 dB step up transformer, and all three of these cartridges work wonderfully, beautifully with that uh, 28 dB step up. And uh, this is my little message for all of you, is that uh, if you already have a cartridge and you have a matching step up transformer for that, and you are happy with it, and then if you want to try another cartridge, make sure that the one that you get is also compatible with your step up. Now, there are some step up transformers which uh, have uh, multiple uh, impedances as input. So basically you can also vary how many dBs they can step up. In that case, you have uh, more of a freedom to choose. Uh, but if it's a fixed step up, for example, my step up is a uh, fixed, so it's plus 28 dB, and uh, and that's it. It doesn't do anything else. So in that case, if you have that uh, case for yourself too, then what you need to do is to look around for other cartridges which also have the same output level. And uh, if you do that, even if you don't understand much about impedances, everyone can read what is the output level. If it's the same output level for a moving coil cartridge, then the same step up will work uh, almost 99% or higher uh, excellently. So if one of your cartridges works with a step up beautifully, then another cartridge with the exact same output level will also will beautifully uh, with that uh, step up. So thank you guys. I hope this, uh, this gives a little help for everyone. And um, there's one more thing. So if you have a cartridge that you are really happy with, why would you want another cartridge, right? So in my case, why I would want it? Because this is my main cartridge and it's, it's a vintage cartridge now. Uh, and, and it's not a cheap cartridge by any means. So if I wanted to buy, uh, so if anything happened to it and if I wanted to replace it, I would need to spend more money on it than, than I'm planning to spend on, on car repairs 
total for the next year. So it, as you can uh, suspect, uh, it's not going to fly. So I need a plan for a backup cartridge. And, and basically I'm saving the good cartridge for those records of mine, which are already uh, cleaned up and in a nice shape. And uh, for those records, which I haven't listened to them yet, which, you know, uh, as a collector, when you pick up records, you tend to uh, accumulate them for a while and then you just get to binge listen to them. Uh, of course, some people are meticulous and clean them before listening to them. But if you have as many records as I do, and this is just a tiny fraction of them, then... Uh, if I wanted to clean every single record before I listen to them, I would need to hire uh, a couple students or a couple guys or, or ladies to, to do a permanent 24-7 uh, record cleaning because otherwise it's not going to happen. Um, so, so basically uh, that's one reason why I want another cartridge, which is the Audio-Technica ATF-7, which is a very cheap uh, moving coil cartridge, but exact same output as the MC3. And, to my, and that's why I bought it, and also with the purpose that uh, at that time the cats were young, they were just kittens, and as kittens, I took away the MC3 because uh, I did not want them to accidentally damage or destroy it. And, you know, uh, a cheap cartridge, if they harm it accidentally, then whatever, I, ca I can replace it. But if something happens to this cartridge, I within the next five years or more, I would not be able to replace this cartridge. So that's why it's a good plan to have a second cartridge, uh, which is more a, more like a budget cartridge that you can use on uh, rainy days and you can use to test your untested records. So that's my strategy that I listen to records on uh, with the cheap cartridge, with the Audio Technica. And if I like them, then they get ultrasound cleaned and then I can listen to them with the MC3. And plus my third cartridge, the mono cartridge, and that's specifically for mono recordings. Even though actually the MC3 it plays mono records beautifully, and uh, actually I have to tell that it it plays mono records better than the uh, M than the Audio Technica dedicated mono cartridge does, but. Uh, the jury is still out on that. I, I have to do more listening because uh, the bands is hooked up through the step-up transformer and the mono cartridge is hooked up to the internal step-up of the Hagerman violin. And uh, I have not yet tried the mono cartridge through the SUT. And why I didn't do that, it's not because of negligence, it's because I can hook up only one cartridge to the step-up transformer which is in the back, and then the step-up transformer goes to the moving magnet input, and the moving coil input, it goes to the mono cartridge. So one cartridge feeds the MC input, and the other cartridge feeds the step-up transformer that goes to the moving magnet input. So that's how I can hook up two uh, arms at the same time to the phono stage. So I hope that this uh, little video just helps everyone how you can uh, plan around on, uh, on building your system. So you would ask that at this point, why do I have a mono cartridge if the way things are hooked up from the long term then this cartridge plays everything the best. That's because I have a bunch of mono records that I never listen to and they await cleaning and I test them out with that cartridge first. And if I like them, then too, they go to ultrasound bath and then they are ready to go. And um, so that's it. I hope everyone will have a fantastic day. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, enjoy your records. Bye bye.